This is the new Atom Mini Switcher from Blackmagic Design. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and I'm here with Craig from Blackmagic Design. Craig, you have a new uh, family member of your ATEM products. First of all, what is ATEM? It doesn't really stand for anything. It's uh, ATEM. So ATEM are a range of production switches that we've have um, we've developed over the past four or five years into delivering 4K solutions at the higher end. We've got some fantastic 8K productions as well. So that there's the very high end products in the ATEM family. And now you have a mini. We have ATEM Mini, which comes in right as an entry point, and where we think there's a massive opportunity for people to, to use our technology for creating fantastic content online. It's designed for YouTube, it's designed for people that want to quickly take a number of camera sources or input sources from computers and graphics and create live productions um, to put out to their, their audiences as quickly as possible. So a brand new little box works directly out of the box with four HDMI inputs, push button controls on top, so everything you need is really just fast and easy to learn. Okay, so the workflow will be connecting from one uh, up to four cameras via HDMI, mm -hmm. use the switcher, and then how do you connect it to the internet? Okay, so within the product itself, we have a encoder that will deliver H.265 encoded output at 1080p. There's a USB-C connector on here. Just take that straight to your host workstation. So that will deliver your program out, mix down, cut as you want it for all the program delivery to your streaming profile. And then use maybe some software here. We're demoing with OBS, which will give you a, a transport layer that will handle your account login. So you can go straight to your YouTube account directly from this box in a matter of seconds. And the setup is incredibly quick and easy to use. In case you need some updates, future updates, software updates, can this be upgradable or software upgradable? Yeah, we always have with the ATEM products, so we strive to add in additional features. We've built this at the moment to be quick and easy for people to maybe get started with current standard ways of working on YouTube. So for example, you might want a picture in picture of, of an element, maybe this is you on camera doing some software overlay. So we built that in, but if you were to cut away, you don't want to take that picture in picture with you. You don't want to see yourself in the corner on the same camera. So we've added some presets that make sense in the use of the YouTube world, and we'll add and change those with feedbacks of customers. Uh, likewise, we've got a Kia built in, so I can add a Kia and bring in graphics and chroma that out. So we're looking at how we may actually add some more creative controls for people as well, straight out of the box. Um, and we'll take some feedback from customers, see how it best works, and make it as quick and easy to use for people. Maybe this could be the first switch that they've ever done because they want to get into that world of YouTube, they want to share content, they want to get an audience, and this is the idea product for them because it's very small lightweight and portable how do you power it uh, mains only or there's a way to power it with battery it is mains yeah so there's just a little mains adapter to the back here plug that in and then away you go maybe a monitor you'll need to check in your program output um, you have a HDMI output on the back as well so although we're talking about this being used for YouTube you could also have a second monitor um, for outputting maybe preview or how you want to work in, in that way as well how about pricing and availability? So the product's looking to ship in November, so um, showing you here at the show for the first time, and pricing is 289 euros. Those prices, it's crazy. <laughs> Anything else that we missed in terms of functionality? Because obviously it looks very like a very straightforward pro product uh, that can help, of course, if you're doing some live productions, or even if you want to record um, uh, for social media and broadcast later. Anything else that I missed? Well, you could take the HDMI output of the actual product and you could plug that into a video assist um, that was shown on the other side of the wall. So you could record your program out and then upload that later a date. Or you could take the USB output into your laptop and OBS and other software will record that program for you as well. Craig, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you guys.